can you do me a favor and just kind of start when when did you realize that training your mind was something that you really needed to to say it's time for me to invest in this as well mm -hmm. uh i think that <laughs> moment first came when i um came overseas because you're kind of in a completely different atmosphere you go from that kind of sheltered um, ambiance of a university, you're stepping up your game as well, you're taking your game to the, another level, you're going from amateur to pro, it's a whole different world. And uh, I found myself coming face to face most aggressively with this idea is when I uh, became seriously injured in my mm. second year overseas. And I was dealing with all sorts of stuff. First of all, I didn't really completely admit to myself that I was really injured. I was still in that mind frame of like push through, you know, grind yep. it out. You know, yep. you're not really injured. Just, just keep on going, uh, which is a whole nother um, discussion to be <laughs> have in the world For of sure. uh, athletics. For but, sure. But yeah, but coming back from that and getting back into the groove of basketball, I, I found myself not playing the same. I had a lot of fear. And that's when I first really felt, or at least remember the most of having this mind that's turning and like completely out of control. And even when I'm trying to tell myself, you know, okay, calm down, do this, do that. Um, I was simply unable to do it. Then just the simplest tasks became so extraordinarily difficult and, and that's when I remember first realizing this connection between the mind and body and then starting to kind of dig into that, delve into that a little bit deeper. And then like that became a years long journey of, of discovery.